Do you use a holistic needs assessment to find out the needs and concerns of your patients? A holistic needs assessment is designed to build a profile of issues and concerns that a person may have at any stage in their cancer pathway. The true essence of a holistic needs assessment is asking what matters to you, not what's the matter with you. In our health board, we introduced holistic needs assessment to really formalise the way we were treating patients so that all patients had an opportunity to discuss their needs and identify their concerns to us. Um, we decided to use the holistic needs assessment as, as the name suggests, it's such a fantastic holistic tool to use. Um, it really makes sure that we discuss what's meaningful to the patient at that time. Um, also we find it really encourages co-productive working, so allowing patients to get involved, have a sense of control within their assessment um, and within their intervention really. I think assessing patients' needs, um, whether they are related to their cancer diagnosis or just general social needs, financial needs, are absolutely very important to patients and their carers. I think it makes a massive difference to my patient group. Um, I think it gives them the permission to talk about their other needs, not just those of their cancer, but it also gives their family and relatives that opportunity to talk about their needs and it gives me as their nurse um, the opportunity to address those needs. I feel that sometimes when we have the consultations with the patients, the nurse guides the conversation on what they believe is, is, is what they, they think the, the problems of the patients but after completing the holistic needs assessment there were, there were lots of concerns that come up that maybe I would never have thought of bringing, bringing up to in that conversation. So I think as the holistic needs assessment is such a dynamic document that it's not just the, the sole responsibility of, of the nurses or the clinical nurse specialist to complete it. I feel that it's a, um, an approach by allied health professionals, um, district nurses, community nurses out in the community to help sort of meet the patient's needs and, and, and look after that. So a lot of us as clinicians do them individually and then we keep them to ourselves and use them just for the specific patient care. But I think they have potential to um, highlight any unmet needs. I think that information will actually help us to inform any services that we need to develop. Every single patient was really positive about it. You know, they felt like their, their needs were being looked at rather than, you know, they felt like they were being treated like a person rather than just a number in the system. Being new to the clinical nurse specialist role, I found that the actual framework of holistic needs assessment um, offered me a structured and consistent approach to assessing patients' holistic needs. So we have physiotherapists within our team who also use the um, holistic needs assessment. So um, absolutely other healthcare professionals, other AHPs can certainly get involved. Um, I think it's a really important tool. It's almost within our background as an OT um, to consider people's holistic needs. As a lot of people affected by cancer don't necessarily come with just their cancer to us, they have a lot of other chronic conditions. It also highlights the impact that they're having on the patient's pathway and the impact it's having on the patient's care as they go through the cancer treatments. The whole point of holistic needs assessment is the discussion and then the care plan that's sort of generated from that so that it becomes very individualised. I think when something's perceived as new, such as holistic needs, people think, oh, that's another thing I have to do in my daily job. But I think we were already doing it. But I think this just formalises it, documents it, and reminds us of what needs we've identified for that patient so that we can follow them up in a more sort of responsible manner. I think it would be really good if, if these holistic needs assessments were being transferred from secondary care. And I also think they should be incorporated into the cancer care reviews for the COF. Because from what I've been led to believe, it could mean anything having a cancer care review, even just putting somebody on the cancer register. And it doesn't always, these patients, the people I have seen have certainly said that they've never had one before and they would have welcomed the opportunity to have had one much earlier along their disease trajectory. Um, I'd say to any, H, um, any AHP or any professional that said they haven't got enough time to complete their holistic needs assessments to give it a go, 
Um, it can reduce patient stress, it can reduce dependency on services. It's really putting the patient at the heart of the assessment, which is what is core to um, the work that we do. Um, so by identifying something early, you can prevent crisis um, by being proactive um, rather than reactive. So really looking at, um, yeah, looking at the patient first. I absolutely could not imagine not doing them now. It, it's an essential part of the role, an essential part for, for our patients, really. Giving it a try in the long term will actually save you time and actually streamline your service. I think I have some confidence to start introducing holistic needs into your chemotherapy discussions and to your key worker meeting with the patient and it'll just become a second nature. I think you know you just got to get straight in there and give it a go and it really works. This video has been made to encourage the consistent use of holistic needs assessments and conversion to care plans with all those living with the impact of cancer across Wales. The Cancer Delivery Plan states that health boards will consistently apply key interventions such as holistic needs assessment, allocation of a key worker and the provision of an ongoing care plan to ensure a holistic, person-centred approach underpins cancer care across Wales. All people affected by cancer will be offered a holistic needs assessment at key transition points in the cancer pathway. National guidance is available for undertaking holistic needs assessment in cancer through the Wales Cancer Network website.